What up, what up, what up? Double limbs. It's your boy, Keys. And it's your girl, Mandy. Ew, ew. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yeah. And this time we are doing wing stop. <laughs> Everything stop. World stop. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Wing stop, y'all. We love wing stop because they make the wings fresh, as you know. And uh, we love celery sticks. So we got some celery sticks here. We got some fried corn. That's gonna be our little carb. Mm -hmm. And our meat, our protein. And that's it. Yo. And we're gonna get into this one, baby. Let's do it, baby. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all your bound for blessings thank you for our friends and loved ones coming in to join us add a blessing unto them add a blessing upon this food for the nourishment of our body jesus name amen amen let's get it mm. i'm ready to dive in <laughs> i'm hungry y'all Dive in. <laughs> i got my ranch and my celery sticks Ugh. Mm, 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 mm. Mmm, so it's so fresh and crunchy. Mmm, y'all. And y'all already know my yin to my yang over there. We two <laughs> different ones. I'm blue cheese, she ranch. Yeah, I like ranch, you like blue cheese. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have the lemon pepper um, chicken wings with the spicy Korean. Hubby here has the um, lemon pepper too, but he has a Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. And they look good too. Mm -hmm. They hot, crispy, fresh. Good. Don't bite into that. You know, who don't want some fresh chicken? Mm. We was like Popeyes. Mm. We was like, we know the chicken gonna be up under that lamp. We ain't stop it is. <laughs> Let me get these wings for y'all. We like, dang, man, this way you sell your sticks. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get some chicken for y'all. <laughs> And crunchy, y'all. That crisp. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Mm. 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 Y'all see the chicken cheese in the back of our window. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a Chuck E. Cheese in this parking lot, too. So, if you got kids, don't let them see that, um, <laughs> no Chuck E. Cheese like McDonald's. <laughs> I know, right? Kids love Chuck E. Cheese. Mm. These are fried hard, y'all. Yeah, they did that. And this is the spicy Korean. Let y'all see that. Y'all see that? It was so good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm gonna drop mine. Mm. Put that ranch on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. So good, my drop it. <laughs> mm, Y'all like the little chicken better than the big chicken. Mm. Yeah, I don't want no big old behind mm -mm. chicken wings. Like a nice, good, medium size. Mm -hmm. I don't like big wings. 
if I really want wings like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's some real chicken. But these wingettes and drumettes, I love this. The little small chicken. Because you can really get it fried hard. It's smaller. Mm. And that crunch. Even on the wet, on the wet um, wings. Still crispy. And y'all already know I got some um, Lysol Clorox wipes in the car with some Lysol cleaner to wipe up <laughs> when the mook bun is over. <laughs> oh, we got some fried corn too, y'all. Mm -hmm. How can I forget the fried corn? No one, I love the fried corn. My favorite. Let me show y'all that. If y'all haven't had the Cajun fried corn from um, Wingstop, get you some. When they first came out with this, me and Keys had it. I think our first move on we had the fried corn then. We sure did. Our first wing stop move on we ever did when we got a wing stop here. We did fried corn. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And we never um we don't order wings without it. Want some corn bacon? Maybe a little bit later. I'm gonna get some. Mm -hmm. They so good, y'all, they fresh. Mm -hmm. Get as many as you want. Mm-hmm. They so good. Mm hmm I love them. Mm. These little corns are so good, y'all. I'm telling you, make you want to go home and fry you some corn with some seasoning on it. I'm mm. telling you now. Put me some mini corns in the deep fryer. You know what I mean? You know what I'm gonna have to do for y'all? Go a little moot ball on the little cheat day. Mm, excuse me, y'all. Is that Korean, them Korean corn dog thing? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's gonna be really good. Them things look real good. I see everybody Don't doing them things. Mm hmm. Them things look good as heck. Y'all shout out to the Moot Bond community. Because y'all have everybody hungry. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes when you don't know what to eat, watching a good Moot Bond will, make, will, will help you find out what you want to eat. She just ate. I want to eat that too. Yes. Mm So good, y'all. No, don't think we ain't got no, no topic for y'all. <laughs> Cause we always do. Look who calling. Somebody calling me. <laughs> Look who calling. Let me pause it. Eat too much corn. These Korean wings are good though. I'm glad I got them because she was like, they're not that spicy. I'm like I had them before, I thought they was real spicy, but they're not that spicy. Mm -mm. And these are Korean spicy wings. And that Korean sauce in there so good. Korean barbecue. Mm -hmm. mm. So good, y'all. I might have a new love with the wet. Oh, it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. First meal of the day, y'all. No lie. First meal of the day. You know, when you have so many things to be excited about and I'm not talking about monetary or materialistic things I'm talking about personal developmental things mm -hmm. like things you are personally developing in your life when you are reaching new milestones 
when you are changing the way you believe of the way you believe about your life and about things that have occurred in your life when you start making those kind of changes it just feels so good it's like you have a new glow on you you know what i'm saying a new glow on life like i'm feeling good right now y'all I, I told my husband i feel so good you know today when he got off work this morning he didn't even get no rest y'all he immediately started working on stuff and getting things done and then i got up because i didn't go to bed till like what 7 30 this morning I was up literally all day yesterday up until this morning yeah. and it was only because I could I tried to lay down and go to sleep but I couldn't I kept reading books I kept um listening to um inspirational um videos and I just kept writing down notes and taking notes and just you know feeding my mind positivity you know what I'm saying yeah you know I know we had gave y'all some videos talking about some of the things going on in um the media and things like that we had did those videos um a week or a week and a half ago or so and we just now putting those videos out but man the the work that I've been doing on me it's, it's a beautiful thing it is it really so is that's what we personal development mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about and I, I only bring this up, y'all, because I'm so excited about it. When you start realizing that if it don't hurt, it don't work. When you working on a job that you feel don't appreciate you, you feel it's hurting you. It's only fueling you and helping you to get that drive and motivation to go to the next level. If it don't hurt, it don't work. When I say that, it's just like when, we, when I used to go to the gym with my husband. I want to mm -hmm. go in the gym and I want to do the um, treadmill. The treadmill don't hurt me. My body's comfortable with it. I do it a lot. I can be on it for two hours and it won't bother me. Put my music on. And this is like I'm just walking at the park. But it wasn't helping me reach the results, get the results that I was looking for. Because it didn't hurt. It wouldn't work. When he would say, hey, we're going to start with the five pounds. Okay, five pounds, easy. I can lift that. Ain't nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Get my arm curls on. But then when he starts saying, okay, let's get the tens now, the anxiety starts setting in. Yep. Because now you having to actually do some work. And if you don't push past that anxiety, if you don't push past that fear of I can't, this is too hard, if you don't stop taking those negative negative words and that self-talk, that negative self-talk that you do with yourself and get rid of it now, yep. it'll have you stuck and hindered all your life. I'm, I'm being so real right now, y'all. And I don't proclaim to know everything. God knows I don't, and I'm learning myself. But I do know that if it don't hurt, it don't work. And I learned that because I had been afraid and then, hubby say, now we got to do the 15 pounder. Now, because I'm getting even more afraid and scared, I'm starting to be argumentative. I'm starting to try to make my case of why I can't do that or why we shouldn't go that high up. No, no, you, we haven't even got to the 30s yet. And you already crying at 15. You got to you, you gotta push past what you used to you got to push past your comfortable state of mind you got to push past that you got to push that stuff all the way out you got to push past it and you just got to do what it is to get you to where you want to be that's right you can sit around all day long talking about how you want a better house you want a better job you want more money you want a better life you want a better car but guess what if you ain't do, taking no action towards making some money to put in the savings account to buy that new car if you're not taking actions to develop yourself as an individual person first, being better, treating people better, know you've been rude to everybody, know you have a nasty attitude, know you're jealous of other people, those kind of traits won't get you anywhere. They won't. Having those kind of traits won't get you anywhere. You have to take action on the things you say you want. I could sit up all day long and daydream about what I want, how I want to live, and who I want to be. I could tell y'all all day long that I'm going to do it. Just but if I don't take woo. action. True time. If I don't take action. If I don't do something every day towards things I say I want. It's just like when you say you want to go get your nails. I'm going to get my nails done there. I'm going to get waxed. I'm going to get a pedicure. You go in the nail salon. 
you tell them what you want you be very specific i want a pedicure i need a fill in i want my feet done this way or i want <clears throat> the french manicure design on my toes or i want you to do designs on my hands i want this color i want dip powder you see what i'm just i'm just giving you an example when i went into the nail salon this week and got my nails done got waxed got my feet done i was very specific in what i mm -hmm. wanted very very very, very specific mm -hmm. i was very specific i told t and her name is t's nails i love her she does my nails here in orlando i told t exactly what i said i want the coffin shaped nails i love the coffin shape i said i want coffin shaped nails and i want this purple um dip powder and i want you to do designs on two of my fingers on both hands something with some rhinestones or diamond like you know bling bling and i told her what i wanted and she made it happen you gotta be specific with the things you say you want in your life and you cannot be afraid to use your voice and speak up y'all i'm so guilty of this myself i'd be afraid sometimes to speak up and it's crazy because y'all see me in these videos talking and running my mouth <laughs> Y'all see me in these videos, and I seem confident to some of y'all. I'm inspiring to some of y'all, you know, and but in my everyday life. I know the real. Yeah, I have a hard time speaking up. In some cases, I do. You know, like I'm taking care of business things that I know, like handling the bills for the house. I, I know that, like, like with my eyes closed. You know, it's nothing. That's you, you're, you're comfortable doing that because you do that every, you do that every month, so that's comfortable. But asking for things you've never asked for, or having a vision to go places you've never been, it's a little scary. But I'm learning that if my dreams don't scare me, then I'm not dreaming big enough. If I don't push past my my norm and get rid of old belief systems. I can't excel to the next level. You got some people that are set in their ways. And it's only because they've been reared and taught that. And because they don't know any better, they mm -hmm. haven't been taught anything differently. They won't they won't accept or believe anything differently. I'm in a place where I'm willing to give up old habits. I'm willing to give up old behaviors. I'm willing to give up old beliefs for what I want. I mean, honestly, because there are a lot of things you've been taught over the years that don't add up. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of us have been taught to just, you know, you get a job, get your good paying job, mm -hmm. you know, you know, and, and stick with it, and 30, 40 years you can retire. No. no. Wrong I'm answer. not, I'm not um, doubting that that may be a job for somebody. That may be somebody's story, and ain't nothing wrong with that either, because some, some of us have to do that. That's what we were called here to do. And then nine times out of 10, you gotta get out of retirement and go walk and be a greeter at Walmart. Or, Just to make the bills, you know? You know? Because the system is set up not for you to be able to really retire. Some people have to retire. Some people have to retire twice and still working. Where do you do that at? Well. And it's not to put anybody down, but when you know that you have a higher calling and purpose on your life, you gotta you got you 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 gotta stick with it, and you gotta take action every day towards what it is you want. And every day, y'all, for the past week, I've been taking action. I've been doing the necessary work on myself to be a better person, being more polite to people, even if people are not polite to me. Remembering that I'm not in control of them, but I can always control me and the karma that I put out there will return to me That's So right. regardless of how you behave and how you conduct yourself I'm gonna be a good person because I know that with all the good I'm putting out. It'll come back to me We'll firm <laughs> believer in that. Yeah, we are You know, I want to I want to really say that my husband y'all see sitting here <laughs> he good at that he's patient he's calm he's nice to people he's understanding sometimes maybe a little too understanding because when i when i see my husband amp up on somebody like the other day on the phone <laughs> he was on the phone with his doctor's office and they were literally 
trying to treat him like he was incompetent, like he wasn't uh, holding up his end of the bargain. What, what did they tell him? How, tell him about what happened, babe. Cause you had you had to get the lady together, and it was like I looked over like that's not like my husband to be, you know, getting loud with nobody. But let me let me just tell you this, just short. Mm -hmm. People will. get you to do things or believe things that or semi that semi is all all the way together and you'll think okay yeah this is gonna work out and then later on it becomes your fault because the idea that they had didn't follow through it didn't work because it, it didn't work because it was half-assed, as they say. Yeah. If you do something halfway, you don't think it through, you don't plan accordingly, you don't put a real productive plan in place for a person, yeah. for your patient, then when things don't work out, you blaming the patient, well, you haven't been coming to the office. Well, you guys told me that y'all didn't have to come to the office. This was y'all plan. Yeah. This was y'all plan, not mine. Now you telling me you don't have my prescriptions on file. Now you telling me um, we don't have you in the system. Now you telling me that it's my fault. And then being very rude about it. You know, I'm not saying let people take advantage of you or treat you any kind of way. Mm -mm. But try to put out good karma because honest to God, Keys is on that phone trying to be very polite to this lady and be very respectful. And she's the one who was, you know, was getting very rude and loud and disrespectful on the phone, which made him have to tell her, hey, stop. Hey, we're not going to do this, ma'am. We're not going to do this. Mm -mm. And, you know, you have to speak up for yourself. You do. You know, you have to be respectful to people, treat people with kindness, but speak up for yourself. And you can do it without being nasty and derogatory. You know what I'm saying? But speak up for yourself and say, hey, 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 I'm not treating you like, don't treat me like that. Don't do me like that. Because at the end of the day, nothing was really holding us on on the phone no. to hang up. Right. But the phone and the dial phone. That's it. <laughs> So I don't have to put up with, you know, anything, but I do find that it is very important that in order to develop yourself fully and to be who you truly were called to be, you have to speak up. You have to say exactly what it is you want, have good intentions, let people know your intentions mm -hmm. and just, and just, and just say it, Hey, either they can take it or leave it. Whoever can take it and understand will be there. Whoever isn't supposed to be there, God will remove them out the way. That's right. But you have to speak up, have good intentions, and say exactly what it is you want. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm sorry, I can't accept, I can't accept that job offer. It's not paying me enough. I have 10 years experience. And I think that because I have these qualities, this quality, that quality, that I should be paid a little bit more. There should be more incentive here in this, in this job offer. Well, sorry we can't give it to you. Well. Hey, good day. Yeah. You got to know your word. And sometimes... We be accepting stuff, telling ourselves lies. Well, I need a job right now. I just got to do what I got to do. Yeah, sometimes we got to do what we got to do. But sometimes, y'all, be for real. We being complacent and we getting comfortable where we are. You know what? I had I quit my job over two months ago. Okay? I haven't been to nobody's job in two months. I'm not wanting for anything. Mm -mm. I'm not begging and borrowing nothing from nobody. Anything I get, anything I want to go do, I can go do. If I want to go to lunch, I can pay my own way to have lunch with someone. I ain't got to invite you to lunch and then expect you to pay the bill. That, that's just, you know what I'm saying? When you know, when you know who you are, you have to be willing to walk away and say, hey, I'm better than this. Yep. And sometimes walking away from jobs, people, um, towns, cities, moving to a new city, changing your scenery, your environment, sometimes that's all help is going to help build that personal development that you're trying to work on. That's right. How are you going to develop yourself and you keep living in the same toxic environment around the same toxic people? Are you you afraid? Yeah. You scary. Or if somebody says something negative to you, now all doubt has set in and yeah, now you, you don't feel you can do you're it. You're tense and all up. Mm -hmm. I had to do that, y'all. Somebody would say something negative about my dreams. They heard me talking about something. I wasn't even talking to them necessarily. And they would hear me and they would say something like, oh, please, that ain't possible. You can't do that. It would, it would really like dampen my spirit. But now, I am.
you can't death my spirit because I know that I was built strong. I know that I was designed to do this. I know that I'm going to do this with every fiber of my being. It will manifest. That's right. It will come into fruition. And one day I'll look back on this video and I'll say, girl, girl, you did that, girl. You did that. Girl, you did that. <laughs> I'm just having a beautiful day with my husband and we've been just talking about so many different positive things and then I talked to my booski today and we on the same page it's beautiful when you can hit a friend up a sister up and you know y'all on the same page y'all on the same wavelength no negativity no drama but all about positivity and going to the next level she motivating you and encouraging you and you doing the same for her that's, right. that's the type of friendship you need around you if people ain't doing that in your life cut them loose if you call to them and you tell them about something positive happening in your life, and they like, well, I don't really think that's going to happen for you. I don't see that for you. Or, mm, and that don't sound like something that you should be doing. Immediately cut them off. Cut them off. They dream killers. I was talking to my uncle, and he said... What up, Uncle Larry? Uncle Larry, yes. Uncle Larry. Because I got several uncles, so let me, let me say that. Uncle Larry. Uncle Larry said... There are dream killers and dream stealers. Mm. And he said, you want to stay away from those kind of people. People that will try to steal your dream and make it their own. Or try to kill your dream by telling you something negative about it. But then you'll later on find them down the line doing exactly what they told you not to do. Now you walk around with all this resentment and anger in your heart. When all you had to do was block out the um, background noise and keep pushing forward. That's right. You know, and that's why I always talk to Uncle Larry. I have a lot of conversations with him because he really inspired me. He encouraged me. And those are the type of elders and um, mentors you want in your life. You know what I'm saying? Your, your family members who inspire you, encourage you. Every time you talk to them, they have something uplifting to say. It's nothing negative. It's uplifting. It's you can do it. You'll get there. This is how you do this. Maybe change up that. You know what I'm saying? People giving you good, sound advice that will help you develop into the person you were called to be. That's right. I just wanted to talk to y'all about that because I'm telling you, I'm working on myself and I'm telling you, just within a week, I feel better. Yeah, it's been a beautiful time. Mm -hmm. More energy mm -hmm. uh, for uh, both of us. Mm -hmm. And it just seemed more uplifting. It do. Um, the air just smells... A little bit more inviting <laughs> inviting more <laughs> more fresher mm -hmm. like we said know. we said this morning they talk about oh. goals mm. about the past about and about letting some, the past go I'm, I'm saying about I think we talked for about two and a half three hours mm-hmm mm -hmm. it was powerful y'all and if you're not having no kind of conversations with your spouse or with your significant other you need to start because making sure that you are where you want to be at personally and collectively is important. Mm. Because if you are in a sunken place, depressed, dealing with anxiety, crying, hurting all the time, it's going to hurt you guys collectively. So I have to make sure that individually I'm good, they you good, and together we get together and talk and build each other up so we can both be good. You know, working on our vision board well, yeah. together, you know? Be great. Be great. Yeah, be even better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You know, working on our vision board and just talking about the things we want and the things we're going to manifest. We're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't care what no haters say. I don't care what no naysayers say. I don't care what no doubters say. Honey, I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. In my Nene Leaks voice, I said what I said. <laughs> It's gonna be what it been. You want some more wings, baby? That's it, baby. That's it for you, okay. Adam, baby. Okay. I got four in here for you. But um, yeah. But you can put them in here. Yeah, work on y'all. Work on yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Don't let your current circumstances just be what you accept. You can always change things. You can always get out of that sunken place. I've been there so many times, y'all. Laying in the bed depressed. 
my husband asking what's wrong. And I'm saying nothing. But he can hear it in my voice. Yep. That I'm feeling yep. low. That I'm not I'm not myself. I'm not happy. And you know what? He said, let's go back. Let's go outside. You know, have you ever felt that way? Where you feel so stressed and you feel so depressed. And you go outside and that fresh air and that wind just hit you just right. Just hit you just right. And you feel so good. You feel so good. That's what, you know, that change in behavior comes in for me. When I find myself like that, I have to do something different. I remember one day I was feeling that way. I said, babe, let's go outside. I need to get out of the house. He said, come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to ride around. Ride around. Just get out of the house. Go to the gym. I know some of y'all don't like the gym, but guess what? Go in there and just get on the treadmill. Go in there and get an elliptical. Do some jump roping. Do something to release that stuff. You got to release that's, that that's stuff. My, that's my comfort place. Yeah. Place of comfort. Mm -hmm. And release some stress. And you know what? When I met Keys, and he started me to go into the gym and teaching me that stuff, I did start feel better. Not just because I lost weight, but I start feeling better about myself. And I start feeling that, wow, the possibilities for me are endless. I can do anything. If I just keep myself out of that sunken place, when I find myself going back into old behaviors and patterns, pump the brakes, and let's change and do something different. When you find yourself giving into your chaos, do something different. Do something different. You, you, you'll thank yourself for it later. Mm -hmm. And celebrate your wins. Celebrate your wins, everybody. You know what I'm saying? When you do something good, man, I lost five pounds this week. Celebrate that, man, I lost five pounds. And celebrate don't mean because you lost five pounds with a piece of cake. No, that's not a celebration I'm talking about. <laughs> I thought we would love to, but <laughs> no, that's not the celebration we're talking about. You know, just, man, I'm proud of myself. Write it down. Five pounds lost this week. What did I do to lose five pounds this week? I ate um, more lean meats. I had more vegetables in my diet. I drunk more water. When you nurture you, it'll produce a whole, a whole different you on the outside, mindset-wise, everything. When you take care of you, Take care of your body. Mm -hmm. Take care of your mind. Everything will everything will be in sync. It'll just flow. It'll flow. It'll just flow. But when you don't take care of your temple, you don't take care of you, you don't feed you the proper things it need, yeah, you're going to walk around sluggish. Yeah, you're going to walk around depressed. Yeah, you're going to walk around unhappy. And don't get me wrong. I know we just had weed stop and somebody said, well, you just ate weed stop. Yeah, my only meal of the day. Only meal of the day. Chicken, celery sticks, and some corn. You know? We'll be just fine. Right. <laughs> we'll be just fine. What I'm saying is, when you constantly around the clock, that's all you eating every day. There's never a time where you eat anything lean or you don't um you don't eat vegetables. You just constantly, constantly feeding your body all this other stuff. You start to look like what you eat. You start to feel like it. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that part of what you put in your body make you feel depressed. I used to be one of them people. That's why I can say that. I used to be eating all the wrong stuff all the time, around the clock. If I felt depressed, I want some ice cream. I'm upset. Let me go find a Wendy's or a Chick-fil-A somewhere. That was me. I remember one time, and this is no lie, y'all. I remember one time I was riding around, and I was angry about something. I can't even recall what it was. I was angry about something. I think it was with work because I had my scrubs on. And I just went to a fancy restaurant and got food. That wasn't what I needed to do. But that behavior went on for so, so long. And it wasn't until I started reconditioning my mindset and changing the way I looked at my life and changing the way I handled things and said, you know what? I'm not going to continue to manage my depression and anxiety. I'm not going to continue to manage feeling defeated with food. It's not it's not fixing anything. It's putting a band-aid on it. But when I take the band-aid off, the sore is still there. The open wound is still there. That's right. We gotta start replacing negative behaviors that don't serve our self-development any good purpose. We gotta start replacing them with things that do. You gotta stop letting your patterns determine your purpose. 
I'm, I'm just keeping it real, y'all. We got to stop that. We got to stop letting our patterns determine our purpose. Stop getting caught up in these ritualistic behaviors that you've been doing for years that you know don't work, but you just too afraid. You got too much anxiety about trying something new. Just do it. Just do it. That's what I had to do. Just do it. One day my husband was like, hey, when, when he first met me, I was already trying to lose weight on my own, working out every day. I was really getting into a healthy place, but I was still struggling. You know what I'm saying? And I'll never forget one day he came over to see me and I was in a sunken place, but he didn't know. I didn't let him know that. You know, I just met him. You know, I'm going to tell him that right off the bat. He said, hey, let's go work out. That made me have so much more respect for him. Because this wasn't a man that was just coming over to try to get some sex out of me or just trying to be up in my bed. He said, let's go to the gym. You know, I felt like in that moment, God had sent him to get me out of that place of, you know, depression, um, feeling sad, you know, doubting myself. I was really, I had been crying and everything, y'all. I had been crying and everything. He said, let's go to the gym. And I lived in a nice community at the time. We had a nice state-of-the-art gym. They had different rooms. We could do cardio in this room, weights in that room, go to the basketball court, play basketball in that room. They had it all set up really nice. And so we went to the gym. And when he walked me back down to my apartment and he left, I felt so good. I felt so good. You know what I did? I ordered me some steamed vegetables with some um, grilled shrimp. And I had that for dinner. Because I was getting ready to go back into that old behavior. Well, let me start ordering me a pizza. And he came over to see me. He said, let's go to the gym. God will send people to be your anchor. But you got to know. You got to recognize it. Yeah. And you can't be afraid to change. You can't be afraid to do something different. You can't. Don't be afraid. I walked around in fear for so long. And I feel like it has really delayed me as so much. I'm not denied. But I've been delayed. You know what I'm saying? And that's partly because I've been in my own way. And when I start learning how to get out of my own way and really work on me and improving me, and, and don't get me wrong, you won't improve overnight. Some things will improve day by day as you do different things. And you'll start seeing that improvement like, wow, things are getting better for me because I'm not doing that anymore. I replaced that with this. I'm not drinking as many sodas anymore. I replaced the three sodas I was drinking a day with maybe I drink one soda a day now. Maybe now I'm drinking three, two bottled waters a day now and replacing those three sodas I was having. You know, I'm drinking three bottled waters now. I'm changing up things. I didn't like vegetables before, but every meal I have now, I'm going to make sure I put a little vegetable on my plate. Make sure I have vegetables every time and see the change. You'll feel the change. Little things like that. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go shopping every time I get some money. I'm not going to try to go to the malls. Maybe I'll go once a month and buy myself something nice and save the rest of my money and see how everything measures up in my bank account. You know, if you do things and you write it down and you measure it, like we keep saying, journal, 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 man, the amount of blessings you'll see in your life, the change that you will accomplish. I'm telling y'all, I feel real good and I don't want to lose this feeling. So in order to keep me here and keep me centered right here in this good place, I have to keep doing the things that keep me in this place. I've been every day reading reading my books every day listening to the lectures every day writing notes every day reciting those notes back to myself recording myself talking to myself about the things that i'm feeling getting that stuff out i'm telling you you gotta you, do that yeah you ain't all the time gotta go see a therapist to um work on yourself the work starts <coughs> at home with you because honestly you can go see anybody you want to see but nobody knows you better than you and even when you go see a therapist, and I've done this before, y'all. I went to go see a psychiatrist one time because I was so depressed. And I knew her because I used to work with this psychiatrist. I knew her. but And I trusted her, though. You know, I trusted her that I could talk to her and be free with her and just let her know exactly what was going on. But I knew that a part of me was holding back. A part of me was holding back things. Didn't want to talk about certain things. You know, I used to work with her. That was in the back of my mind. Even though I trusted that she would not tell my business and that she would definitely, you know, keep her oath as a doctor, you know, to keep confidenti confidentiality. Still, there was something in me afraid to just release. But when you be honest with yourself, that's the only time you're ever going to be able to release it with anybody else. Until you're ready to be honest with you and work on you and truly work on the things that you know you're doing or things you know you should be doing. You're never going to be ready to be honest with nobody else. 
That's right. That's why sometimes relationships and marriages don't work. Because we hide and stuff. We lying about stuff. Not being open enough. There are some things I still want to tell my husband. I'm going to tell him. You know what I'm saying? Because I already know the kind of relationship I've built with him. I can tell him anything. And I ain't got to feel shame. I ain't got to feel, oh, what he going to say about me? How he going to judge me? You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, of course. And nothing that, like, oh, I've been cheating on him. Nothing like that. Never that. But just things that have happened in my past that I've never expressed, you know? That I've never really talked about in great detail. I've mentioned, but I've never talked about in great detail. You know? You got to be totally honest and transparent with yourself first, but you can be that with anybody else. And you know what? Don't blame nobody. Just forgive. Mm -hmm. And I know it would be hard to move on sometimes, but you just got to forgive and just really, really trust the process and just say, you know what? I'm going to do the work. Every day I'm going to get up. I'm going to make an honest effort to work on myself, to, to rid myself of bad habits, to rid myself of self-negative talk. To rid myself of talking and gossiping about other people. To rid myself of that. It feel good. Because I ain't been talking to nobody about nobody. Everything has been about me. And it feels good. And I don't want to talk about anybody. Anybody going through something, anybody talking about me, I send it back to you. That's it. <laughs> I send it back to you. <laughs> I have nothing negative to say about you. I send it back to you. That's it. <clears throat> but um, th this, this journey I'm on, I'm telling y'all. I'm embracing it and I'm just working on myself because I know that in order for me to go to the next level, my husband said it too, to go to the next level, we got to be better than we were before. We got to go higher. You got to. It's, on, it's the only way. It's all, that's how the plan is set. That's how the cards fall. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's how. Things will align. Uh, uh, yeah. It, it's, it's put, when you when you uh, start a game, mm -hmm. like a board game, there's a start and there's a finish, and there's rules to that particular board game. You can't start from the finish mark and try to begin that particular game. You got to start from the starting position to the and end. go through the Yeah, you can't course. work backwards. You know, some people want to get to the finish line and ain't even ran the race. Just put me at the finish line. It don't work like that. You got you to gotta, you gotta run that race. You got to get there. You got to earn that win. <laughs> Ain't nothing going to be given to you. You got to mm -hmm. earn it. And you got to treat people better. Don't be a user. Don't be conniving. Don't be trying to get over on nobody. You know, don't have those type of, those type of traits of spirit. Because people will recognize it and they will eventually cut you completely off. And you don't even know that might be somebody that God was sending in your life for your lifetime. But because of your own selfish behavior and desires, you lose out. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> Build good relationships and nurture them. Be exactly what somebody is for you. Be that for them. Don't expect them to give their all and you ain't bringing nothing to the table. I don't care what type of relationship it is. You just can't be coming to the table with no 70-30 deal. Ain't nobody buying that. The only way people buying into a 70-30 deal, you must be telling me because I came up with the idea, I'm going to give you 30%, but I'm getting 70% because I'm putting all the money on the table. Then that makes sense. They're bringing more to the table than you. But in a relationship that's ongoing, it needs to be reciprocated. Yep. You're, you're pouring into me, I'm pouring, pouring into, into you. you. Because that's the because I'm going to tell you something. People will hurt the developmental process that you're working on within yourself if you keep dealing with these, these people that mean you no good. People you've known for years. It, it's not to say you don't love them. You can love them from a distance. There are some people in your life that you have to love from a distance. They don't have the same mindset as you. They don't have the same thinking as you. They're only hanging around waiting for you to gain some level of success so that when you get there, they can be latching on. Latch key. Latch key type people, no. You ain't latching on to nothing. We're going to keep that same energy now because I know what I need to do now in order to get to the next level, and I can't have you around. Just can't. And there are just some people in your life, in your family, that's just like that. I'm sorry. You know, they can come to the Thanksgiving dinner, but they can't come to the event. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know how people have a pre-show, they have an after party. You can come to the show, but you can't come to the after party. <laughs> 
Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know them family members that you know they they naysayers, they negative, they they call it they sit in their own ways. They don't they don't see past what they've already learned. They're not looking to learn nothing new. I'm not looking to deal with people that's not looking to learn nothing new. I'm not. I'm not looking to be around that. Mm-mm. 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 All right. Double M. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just in such a good place. I'm so happy. She in a good mood. We I'm both so in happy. Good mood. I'm so happy. <laughs> y'all got me blowing kisses, man. <laughs> I'm happy. I truly am, y'all. I feel it. I I'm just I'm feel I'm, I'm a fool right now. Like not because of the food, but I'm just full. I was already full. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm full of joy. I'm full of love. I want to help be be that transformation that you know i want to be the, be that, that that bridge that helps somebody get that transformation they're looking for you know mentally spiritually i want to be that for somebody you know what i'm saying when y'all get in the comments and y'all tell us how me and keys inspire y'all how y'all love our relationship we love that it, it makes us be better yeah it makes us even treat each other better like if i get a little attitude with him i immediately start telling myself you love this man yeah this man means a lot to you. This man has done a lot for you. When I think about some of the times I've had surgery and Keys has taken good care of me, how he has been there for me during my depressed moments of being overweight, how he just worked with me on that and helped me lose 60 pounds when we got married, how he just was like a driving force in my life, man. He was that push. When you got people that push you, don't push them away. You want to pull them in. Yo, push people, you want to pull them in. You want to push them away. It's the ones who are trying to latch on and just trying to be leeches that you want to get rid of and get rid of them now. Because I'm telling you, they only going to hurt you in the long run. I don't care who it is. I'm sorry, I don't care who it is. First step of personal development 101. Mm-hmm. Man, you got to start cleaning up, decluttering things. It's just like with me and Keys moving. You know, we got a lot of stuff, you know, that we're going to be taking with us. But then there's a lot of things we're not taking with us because we are decluttering and getting rid of things that we don't we don't use. We don't look at. We haven't used. We haven't touched in on how long it's been just sitting in the closet, stocked up, getting rid of that stuff, giving it to somebody who can make the use of it or whatever. Or it's going in the trash, but it ain't going with us. And it's the same when you are going to the next level with developing yourself personally and growing when you are trying to grow. You got to have fertilizer, water, sunlight. If the people around you don't bring the things you need to grow, they got to go. They got to go. They got to go. Got to prune them out. Got to cut them out. <laughs> and get that weedy out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, y'all. I'm telling you. It's the truth. People be, you know, texting and calling you. And you, sometimes you look at your phone. It's not that you don't see the messages. It's just that... I'm in a I'm in a different place. I'm, I'm doing some work on myself, and it don't ha I don't have room for anything else. There's no room for anything else. Sorry, we in two different places. We thinking we thinking too differently. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing negative. You know, you love the people that you grew up with. You love the people that you've been raised with. You love your family, but if they're not um, supporting you, and they have neg negative comments or they have negative beliefs about the things you're doing, then you have, you have to cut them out. That's right. So that you can remain, you can you can maintain your focus on the work you're trying to do. Because it's easy to get distracted. It's easy to start getting back, falling back into those old habits. Because them old habits, they just sitting on the sideline waiting, waiting for the coach to say, put me in, coach. Them bad habits sitting on the sideline waiting for you to say, put me in, coach. Uh -uh. Flagging you down. Flagging you down. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Can't can't wait can't wait <laughs> till they got your attention. Yeah, mm -mm. You, gotta, you, gotta mm -mm. Be, you gotta really really be protective of, of your space. Be protective of your space and work on yourself daily. It is not gonna happen overnight. Daily daily work will end up being long term growth. And that's just that. I ain't gonna ramble on too long. <laughs> I already rambled on long enough. <laughs> I mean, this video already 30 minutes. Well, yeah. with 30 something minutes, it could be 40. <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> Double M. Like this video. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Share this video. 
share this video with somebody who needs it. You know, somebody who trying to figure out where they trying to go or what they trying to do and they don't know where to start. You know, if y'all got any questions or y'all want to leave some comments, leave them below. You know what I'm saying? You know we want to talk to you. Get you know we're going to holla at you. Holla at your boy. Holla at your girl. <laughs> you already know. Hit that notification bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we got in store for you and, and we'll see you in the next video oh you're a new subscriber welcome to the double in the kingdom welcome to the kingdom we love you guys and we will be putting more videos out and if you are a new subscriber let us let us know in the comment that you're a new subby let us know so we can shout you out in the video all right <laughs> and we out of here love you guys Later. bye